Hey guys, Willie and Murphy here, and it is extremely, extremely early today. Um, I've had a parcel yesterday which consists of the positive and the negative battery terminals. So today's job is to fit these up to the car. Hopefully, once they're all fitted, we can get the car started. So um, it is, jeez, five past five in the morning. Um, so I've got a long day ahead of me, doing some filming later on as well for um, another little project I've got. And uh, yeah, let's get cracking. I'm not sure how much of this I'm gonna to get to film today, but um, basically, I've got in here the positive and the negative battery terminals. And what we're gonna be doing is from the battery under here, at the back, I'm gonna take the positive from here, I'm gonna run it round and down through the gap in the back corner behind that post. So I'm going to run along the inside of this body through here. I'm going to have to take this panel here off inside, which is the interior trim, and then it comes out just here. You can see that at all. Put the torch on. So it comes out just inside this panel, it comes out round, and then it'll go around to the starter motor. So it sounds like quite a simple task, but things are never are. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to set the camera up. Just really gonna have this as a bit of a time lapse today. Um, hopefully, get it done. And once it becomes a bit of a more of a suitable time, we'll get the engine cranking and hopefully get it started and keep it starting. So yeah, that's it from me for today. Talking wise, or uh, well for now, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Wish me luck. Oh, actually, before I do get started, I just wanna say a massive thank you to uh, Jaguar Dave 66 uh, once again have given me a great shout out and all the other mini guys there so um, he was giving shouts out uh, yesterday for all these guys or all us guys that are under a thousand subscribers um, so thank you so much for that it really does mean a lot to help try and grow the channel um, hopefully trying to spread the YouTube word I've, I've learned very quickly that the mini community is a fantastic place to to be in um, okay so not just the community itself but actually the the YouTube community for for minis um, the social media side for minis it's got a great atmosphere and I gotta thank each and every one of you really for for making that so great um, there's obviously some guys that are doing extremely well on YouTube with the subscribers and the views uh, and there's also us guys that myself included that have you know not long started in the sort of the car industry um, so yeah thank you so much for watching thank you for the shout outs and uh, check out Dave's video which I will leave a link in the description below uh, and he gives shouts out to lots of people and gives you a little bit of a tour around his garage it's very very smart so yeah Dave thank you and uh, everyone else that he's mentioned in his video best of luck and uh, let's keep the minis alive Okay, so yesterday um, I decided to fit up the starter motor and the starter slot line to this mini bug. So this is the starter slot mode. Now what happens is the power from the battery goes to this terminal. As you turn your key, the connection is made between the two, and then the the, the live power gets fed down here to the starter motor uh, on the. Later engines they have a start slot bolt to the side for the starter motor. And this one here, I believe, is faulty, so we're gonna change this out for a new one. It's a start solenoid done. Next job to do is remove the starter motor. There's a bolt on the top, there's also a bolt down the bottom. Ah, on a standard mini, this would be a relatively easy job. But on this, we've got all this front panel here that is a bit of a pain to remove. It's proving a little bit more difficult. Two bolts are out, and that's a bit of a fiddle to try and get it out. You've got to go back, 
And this is typically where you just have to pull it straight out the front of the engine. But you've got to just maneuver it about. And then get the old unit out. So there it is. It's all free turning, so when you turn the key, this gear here returns back. And as it spins, it turns the flywheel. What is happening is, it's turning the flywheel and then it's getting fed up and just turning back and then rotating. There's also quite a bit of play in that shaft there. So, out with the old, in with the new. So here is the new unit. There's next to no play in that shaft. And as you crank it, that is working absolutely lovely. Got the bolts on there for the power feed. So I'm going to bolt it up anyway, and then we can add the power to it. Okay. on the uh, battery to eat the front. That'll be reconnected up because of that frayed uh, wire. And you get a, a terminal from here to the starter motor, which then it, there's a mount on the starter as well. Um, I have a new earth strap to replace this earth strap at the back of the engine, is here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep this there and I'm gonna add an additional earth strap because it's obviously a fiberglass body. I wanna try and make sure it's fully protected. Um, but that is it for the time being. This clutch is the interior trim. So there's a few screws across the top and I can peel it back to get access to that sort of the box section to the side of the car. There's a few bits of this that have to get pulled through some tight gaps. So what I'm going to use is this electrical tape and the new cable. And all I'm going to do is tape the new cable to the old cable. And as I pull it through, it should hopefully pull that enough so that the the new cable gets pulled through and the old cable gets pulled out. Okay, so as you can see here, the side panel has been removed. Uh, it's got access to this cable. So there's my new cable here. And the old cable is just being a bit fiddly to try and get around this bottom corner here because it goes down underneath a bolt and then a bit of a sharp turn. away the rubber from the um, cable here so then what that's going to do is allow me to get the copper exposed I can then put it inside the bracket and then tighten that down okay so I'll pull you in a little bit closer you can see what I've done so I frayed the wire which you can see poking through the end here I've clamped the first bolt down onto the cable and the second one just straight onto the, the copper there and that's going to create a perfect connection. So hopefully I can cut that to the battery. connected up here. Uh, unfortunately the terminal from the starter solenoid to the starter motor hasn't arrived. Uh, I have messaged the company and they're going to sort that in well, as quickly as possible. So I'm going to refit the old cable, which is this one here, uh, and then obviously change it as and when the new one turns up. Okay so here's what we have done so far. The positive terminal is lined in to the starter solenoid. The old starter cable is lined in as well. Um, the bottom bracket's connected up. Everything's done there. The switch, I've extended this, this wire here. So that is all good. 
Uh, I've tied it up here in a few places so that's all secure. Uh, the trim panel is back on. I'm just going to try and tidy up the um, screw bolts to make them look like these nice shiny ones again. The battery is all connected up and good and proper. And here is the fault we had previously. When we turned the key, there was absolutely no life or no lights on the dashboard, no life in the engine, there was no electrical stuff there. So when I click into the first position, we have an ignition light. And when I click into the second position, which I won't do now because it is still very early, it's sort of pre six o'clock. When I turn the ignition switch on, we have power. Uh, we can test a few things now actually. So the light is on. Let's. Okay, so we've got wipers. Okay, good. We've got washers. Um, I have no idea where the horns are because that is all the buttons you have. Wipers, washers, um, choke cable, and aha, we've got lights. Um, and then that one there is indicators. Um, so yeah, we are on to a, switch that off. We're on to a winner. Hey guys, uh, it's now a more suitable time. In fact, it's about 12 o'clock. I've been out doing some filming most of the morning, so um, let's turn the key and see if she starts. Um, the timing is probably going to be all over the place, um, but the idea here is just to try and get it fired up running um, on its own steam without having to hold it in the crank position. So, let's take a look. I get the ignition light. Fingers crossed. Okay, so, the engine is running. I don't want to run it too long because there's no call on it as yet, but it's running. Um, there's no exhaust on it yet, so that's the next job to look at. So I've got this magic pipe, as I showed you previously, uh, and just here, I'm gonna put a flat spot on it. I think they're called Hardy Spicer um, drive shafts. So, or couplings, so there's like a, a U-bolt, like you would have on a, a exhaust, and then at the end of it, there's a nut and as it's rotating it's going to hit against this. So I've tried to flatten it out. I'm going to try some more just to try and make it a little bit uh, sort of like smoother and hopefully the flow of air going down won't be obstructed by this. Um, and then I need to try and bend this pipe here further down at a more of an angle to clear that chassis underneath. So I need to get some heat for that which I haven't got here. So that's going to be a case of having to go to somewhere else to try and find that. But I am so, so happy that we have the mini bug running. It is one step closer to getting this thing finished. On that bombshell, uh, I'll leave it there for now. Um, so that's probably the last I'm gonna get done before Christmas. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Have a fantastic Christmas. Um, I hope you get everything you wanted for. Uh, the most important time, uh, but the most important thing is to spend time with your friends, family, and loved ones. So. Um, don't worry about the presents, just enjoy the precious time you have. Um, I'm going to enjoy mine with my wife and my little one. Um, we're going to see some family as well, so that's going to be fantastic. Um, but yeah, cheers guys. Uh, if you would like to subscribe to the channel, it's completely free. Just click on this button up here, or click on my face. Uh, there's other videos here. I have some fantastic videos that I filmed this morning coming up as well. So um, yeah, enjoy. Thank you guys, take it easy, Merry Christmas. See you soon.